good job. Welcome back to another lay reaction on this channel, man. You already know the vibes. You guys are tuned in with your boy Nihilus, man. Look, today we have another interesting video. For today, we have 10 famous kids who ruined their careers. Now, this is very interesting to hear about, man, because a lot of famous people do a lot of dumb shit. A lot of famous people do a lot of reasonable shit, obviously make good decisions, but a lot of people make a lot of dumb decisions. I'm interested in seeing these 10 kids right now. If you are new to the channel, make sure you do leave a like down below and subscribe. Smash the like button. Let's get this video right here to at least 1,000 likes, man. Can we do that? 1,000 likes? Can we do that for the Nitrous Gang? Let's get into the video, man. It's not easy being a child star. Home alone? alone? You can't escape from the spotlight. That's a good your movie. Your parents have control over your fortunes, and you can't enjoy the simple things Backpack that most kid. kids get to do every day. And for these ten famous kids, the pressure was too much, causing them to spiral out of control. Some in more dramatic ways than others. Oh. Where did it all go wrong? And what are they doing with themselves today? Let's talk Let's about it. Find out. Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith. Our first cab off the. Jaden Smith is that he's an icon. Jaden Smith is is an icon. Okay, I don't know what they're gonna say bad about Jaden Smith. I think it's Jaden Smith. Sure, he's been an actor and he's been a rapper, but a lot of people would say that most of all, he's been a letdown. He's the child of Will Smith, one of Hollywood's most beloved actors. Jaden was always set up for success, and for a moment. We thought he'd reached it. We fell in love with young Jaden thanks to his role as Christopher in The Pursuit of Happiness back in 2006 where he got yeah. on the screen with his dad. Our hearts melted as the pair fought off poverty and homelessness. After that, he played Dre Parker in The Karate Kid and yeah. Katana Rage in After Earth, again alongside his dad. Yeah. After Earth was a total flop, landing an embarrassing 11% critic score. From here, it all turned sour for Jaden. As he got older, he had to leave his cute childhood persona behind, and he got a little, well, weird. Well, can we say this, though? Can we say this, though? <laughs> Nigga brought his dreads to the Grammys, though. That shit is crazy. <laughs> can we say this, though? How could you expect... See, this is the thing. This shit goes for sports as well. Sports, entertainment, singing... How can you expect the offspring of a famous person to be exactly like their parents? Like, you cannot expect Jaden Smith to be the next Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? You cannot, you cannot expect, what's this, what's this, you cannot expect, what's his name? Fuck, what's Kanye West's kids? Northwest, something like that. You can't be North, you can't expect Northwest to be the next Kim Kardashian. You can't expect that of the kid, bro. People, there it's their lives too. This nigga just started making his own decisions that when he turned 18, started doing his own crazy shit. He embarrassed himself in interviews, claiming that he could, in fact, manipulate time. And on Twitter, putting out obscure tweets like, How can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? And most <laughs> trees are blue. Uh, okay, Jaden. Anyway, then the acting career came to a halt. Fuck it, and man. Instead, he moved over to the world of music. Releasing Sira in 2016. Sire. 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 You idiot. Sire. It took three whole years to produce. Many think that he could make a comeback if he can get over his sense of entitlement. Lindsay Lohan. No list of topsy turvy childhood Lindsay stars Lohan. is complete. I used to, she, was like, she was like my crush white girl when I was younger, bro. No cap. She's like my crush white girl. Age 11 when she starred as Hallie and Annie, the twins in Disney's remake of The Parent Trap, that she really shot into superstardom. With Freaky Friday in 2003, and then of course you have Mean Girls in 2004, Lindsay Lohan became a household name. Yeah, she had Facts. fame and fortune, but that meant that she became a massive target for the tabloids, and it took its toll on the young actress. Even when she was still working, she'd walk up to a film set late after oversleeping and arrive at locations Wait, who's who? Who's who? Who the hell is, who is this? Who is These are not the same people, bro. They have different lips, different teeth, different eyes. Oh, no. Eye color's the same. Who is this, though? Over. Drained from the L.A. party lifestyle. It all spiraled out of control in 2006. 30 days of rehab two DUI arrests, as well as charges for possession and driving without a license. The punishment? Community service. One solitary day in jail, three years of probation, 
and an alcohol education program. Damn. The personal problems continued into the early 2010s, That's her, bro? resulting in the loss of several film roles and wow, plenty of negative bro. media attention. She is beautiful here. But that was some time ago. What's she up to now? By all reports, Lilo is back on track, which is great. She's Lilo, produced an Lindsay MTV Lowe? reality series Lilo. called Lindsay Lohan's Beach Club, following the story of the launch of her actual club in Mykonos, Greece. Okay. She's had a clear okay. mental change as well, wanting to put her issues behind her, demanding to a variety reporter to, quote, stop rehashing my past for no reason, because okay. everything is different now. So she's working, she's working, that's understandable. Justin Cooper. Justin kicked off his acting journey in pizza commercials when he was just five years old. From there, he'd go on to do guest appearances on oh, the beloved Full sitcom, House. Full House. Yeah, I remember Everything Full House. Everything was moving in the right direction. And then his big break came when Tom Shadiak, the director of Liar Liar, thought that he, Justin, had the perfect look to star alongside Jim Carrey. After the film's enormous success, Justin went on to star in a few more movies. Did Dennis the Menace Strikes Again and The Adventures of Ragtime. Fast forward to today, and Cooper is a fully grown adult. Since 2017, Cooper has been a producer and on-air commentator at Fox Sports Radio out of Los Angeles. He don't look... This nigga look different, but this nigga look go a little goofy. This nigga look a little, a little goofy. Haley Joel Osment. You might remember a young Haley Joel Osment oh, as the I boy remember who could son. communicate with spirits in M. Night Shyamalan's 1999 thriller, The Sixth Sense. Haley was just 11 years old, and for that, he became the youngest person in history Let's talk to about be it. nominated for an Academy Award. Damn. But then, as he aged, his looks started to become less relevant, and Haley found himself doing more and more voiceover work. And without enormous filming projects holding him back, Haley ended up graduating from NYU's Tisch School of the Arts in 2011, and now, as a 31-year-old, he looks completely different. Wow, bro. Backpack the kid. Fuck? Next up, Russell Horn. Who? Well, exactly. You'll know this kid as the backpack, backpack kid. kid, or the dude who started the viral dance, Flossing. He made the dance move a global phenomenon in 2016 after sharing his moves on social media, thanks to a little help from Rihanna and Katy Perry, of course. Well, How? Russell actually flossed his way into the music industry. Look at this nigga's face, bro. Boat. He tried to start a new hashtag with another dance move in the music video, but it didn't work. Matilda Mara Wilson. The name Mara Wilson probably doesn't ring a bell these days. I've never seen the movie after Matilda. Because her success in her youth, her relevance quickly faded. But why? Hollywood casting agents simply decided that Wilson had too much of an unusual look when she grew out of her cute kid typecast. And she was fully aware of this, too. Now living in Queens, New York, Mara ended up going down the writing path, becoming a successful author. Okay. She's written articles for online magazine Crack.com, understandable, a play understandable. Called that was produced in 2013 and published her own memoirs in 2016 called Where Am I Now? Where Am I Now? Richard Sandrick. Do you remember the world's strongest boy? How could you not? This kid, whose real name is Richard Sandrick, I don't know was who that a is. child sensation. As an eight-year-old, Ukrainian-born Richard was bench pressing 210 pounds. Damn, and he bro. Pounds himself. So it's no wonder why people called him Little Hercules. With such an athletic physique for a kid of his age, a documentary called The World's Strongest Boy was made, which slingshotted his name up into lights. Where's Mr. Muscles today? Well, take a look. He's 27 years old now, and Richard is almost unrecognizable. These days, he's working as a stuntman at Universal Studios Hollywood, and he hopes to one day become an engineer for NASA. Okay, Drew what's Barrymore. that his goal? After six-year-old Drew scored a role in Steven Spielberg's blockbuster E.T. The Extraterrestrial, her oh, career I remember e. Drew Barrymore made the 90s her own. But at the age of nine, she had some obstacles thrown away. Yo, she looks like she she looks like the girl that's in Stranger Things. Her father around Drew's mother would take her along to nightclubs, where a young and vulnerable mind saw firsthand the effects of drugs and alcohol. Things started to look better after she had successfully filed for emancipation at age 15. But then she took another wrong turn when she was 19 by posing for Playboy. 
With all of this controversy, Hollywood was hesitant to work with her. Fast wow, forward to bro. today, and former E.T. star has been able to put her troubles behind her, recently starring in the butt-kicking remake of Charlie's Angels. Oh, she's fire. Macaulay I know Duncan. her. She's fire. There's perhaps no child star more famous than our next guest. Home as Alone. Well as no Fall from Grace more documented. The Home Alone actor got his first taste of showbiz at the age of four by appearing in off-Broadway shows. But it wasn't until Home Alone dominated the box office yeah, I, watched, I watched really all the Home Alone videos since he was already the most famous and highest paid actor of his age at this point he was much more likely to ruin his reputation than improve it and yeah. alas that's exactly what he did Culkin couldn't handle the pressure thrust upon him by his parents, who entered him into a custody battle that was more focused on his million dollar fortune than him as a human being. That's then, messed in up, 2004, bro. the once famous child actor was arrested for possession of a cluster of different illegal substances, and because of his insane level of fame, the press was ruthless. That's Keeping out of the Hollywood bro. limelight as much as he could, Macaulay ended up playing in a parody band called Pizza Underground. Is the music any good? Well, we're gonna let you take a listen and decide for yourself. Amanda Bynes. She hit the ground running. Oh, as a I remember this show, the a Amanda show. Of movies followed in the 2000s, but then in 2012, she announced that she was retiring from acting, struggling with the negativity portrayed in the tabloids, and that's when things started to get weird. Not long after, she was involved in an accident with a police car, for which she was arrested and charged with a DUI. 2013 was another messy year with arrests for illegal substance possession and evidence tampering, and she even reportedly started a fire on a stranger's property. Fortunately, once out, Bynes was able to straighten out her life, focusing on many family relationships and attending California's Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandise, FIT. graduating recently in 2019. From the outside, she appears happy and healthy. But it's still hard to believe that her last acting credit was Easy A alongside Emma Stone in 2010. Being a child star might look easy, but there is... Being a child star is definitely easy if you don't let the negativity and the fame get to your head. That's what I have to say. But look, that is going to be the end of this video right here, man. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you do leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And stay tuned to Nitro TV for more of the content, man. I'm going to catch you on the next one, bro. Peace.